Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to another video. Check this out. I got a new table and a new lens and a new microphone. How, do, how is everyone? New table, new lens, new microphone, who this? It's me still, don't worry. Oh, I just bit my mouth saying that. My gums and my teeth always fighting, always in drama. I don't want, like being in the middle of it. Okay, anyways, this channel is no stranger to trying TikTok foods. You know, we did the 15 hour potato, the frog bread, the pancake cereal, etc. There's just always little food TikToks trending around. There's been so many TikToks I've seen lately that I wanted to try, and so today I will be trying three of them. But before we start, we got a sponsor! Thank you so much Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love them. If you haven't heard of them, Bright Sellers is a monthly wine subscription club that matches you with wines from all over the world that are curated to your palate. It's super easy, you just take a quick seven question non-snobby wine quiz so that they can gather your taste preferences, and then they deliver you wine that you're guaranteed to like. They also have great customer service. They actually have a guarantee that if you don't love a bottle in your shipment, then they'll send you a replacement in your next box. It's also an educational experience. Each box comes with these wine education cards that take you through the wine's origin, the tasting notes, the pairing recommendations, and more. I've been using Bright Sellers for a little under a year now, and I'm such a fan. It's been so cool, like, getting to know what my actual preferences are with wine. Also just keeps getting better and better because after your first box you can go into your account and rate the wines you received so that your next box is even better suited to your tastes. Before using Bright Sellers I would just go to the store and buy the same Cabernet over and over again pretty much. And that was okay, but now I know so much more about what I like. Also, I never really thought I liked white wine, just never a fan. But in my last box I said I would be down for a white just to try. You know, let's see. And I actually liked it. It was like the first time I ever enjoyed a white wine and you know it's just because they know all of my tastes they know what I like so yeah it's just way more convenient no more wasting money buying the wrong wines for your tastes these are the wines that I received this month Ooh, okay I'm gonna try this cactus park one because one of the pairings is a smoky potato salad with bacon which is similar to the first food we'll be making cheers Mm. If this sounds like something you would want to try, then we're hooking you up. Bright Sellers is giving you guys an exclusive 50% off your first six bottle box, plus a bonus bottle. So, seven bottles in total, 50% off, we love a deal. Follow my link below to take the quiz and get started. Thanks again Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video, and thanks to you all who give them a try. It helps you, it helps me, it's a win-win. Oh, my belly is showing. Okay, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Okay, so this first TikTok that I'll be trying, you guys tagged me in so many times. Like, the only TikTok and Instagram notifications I was getting for like two days was just people tagging me in this. Okay. I saw this potato hack, then I turned it into mm. breakfast. Oh my Cut gosh. hands off a potato, lay down a few skewers on a flat surface, yeah, this and little thin little slice of potato, potato and using the looks skewers so to good. It from cutting all the way through. Flip the potato mm. over and make some diagonal what? cuts. What? Then fit a skewer in sure. the center of the potato and then fan it out. For the spice mixture, combine a little bit of garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and onion salt. Got then it. add a little bit of olive oil. Add that seasoning to the potatoes, then put it on a baking sheet and cook it at 400 degrees for 25 mm. minutes. Oh. Add some cheese, then some bacon, then some egg, then some more cheese, and then the other potato. Never skip egg day. Mmm, bitch. I mean, are you kidding me? That sounds incredible. I'm curious what the sturdiness factor is. You know, what will I have to eat that with a fork? All right, let's start. I got my skewers. I'm using Yukon Golds because that's what it looks like he used. All right, got my potato cuts. All right, and now between two chopsticks. Okay, so first we're making vertical cuts. This feels like some five minute craft shit. Like, I know this is probably an official culinary technique, but I don't know, it's giving me Russia vibes. Okay, and now we flip it over and do diagonal cuts. How diagonal? Like what angle? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up somehow. I don't understand this. I don't understand what we're doing and how it then looks the way it looks. All right, moment of truth. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I mean, it's like, Beautiful. <laughs> All right, off the bat, that is very fun. I really enjoy that. All right, second one done. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, I was having too much fun with it and I ripped it. I'm just gonna go with it. You know, we're gonna reinforce it with the stick. I think it's fine. Okay, so now we shove a stick in it. Get through, get, get in there. Oh, it's harder than it looks. <sighs> okay. I did not think this would be that hard. No! Why can't you just go through in a straight line? Oh wait, okay, that's, this is looking pretty good, kind of. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible. This one's pretty bad. That's, this is rough. 
Oh, and I just completely broke it. All right, well, oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, I cut up another potato. So we have, you know, a couple tries. <laughs> All right, how's that one? Okay, that, this actually looks good. All right, please don't mess this up, stick. Okay, despite it completely sticking out on that side, that doesn't look too bad. Not, not terrible. How is everyone making this look so easy? Oh, this one looks perfect. Oh, hell yeah. I guess you just gotta do thick slices. Alrighty, I feel like these are pretty good. Feel like this will be our sandwich. These I'll just use for something else. You know, I can't go through the disappointment of not being able to do this two more times. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of onion, garlic, smoked paprika, and salt to a bowl, and some olive oil, and I'm just gonna mix that up. All right, that looks good. Now we're just gonna brush these. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh, it's like seeping all into the cracks. All right, these are looking pretty good. All right, got my toaster oven in here. Everyone say hi. All right, I've got a little baking sheet and a little bit of parchment paper. All right, the oven's preheated, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in for 25 minutes. While that cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ingredients ready for the sandwich. And so Josh in that TikTok made his sandwich with eggs and bacon. I'm gonna use this Just Egg Fold. I've never tried these before, I got them on sale. It's essentially the Just Egg, just like pre-cooked in a little sandwich ready situation. And then for the bacon, I have some pressed tofu here that's been marinating for like a day and some liquid liquid aminos, liquid smoke, uh, smoked paprika, and a little bit of maple syrup. You know, classic vegan bacon vibes. These are cut into little half inch planks. I'll just pan fry them. Also, while we're here, quick tofu pressing tip. Um, I have this tofu express that I use sometimes for like one plank. But if you're like meal prepping for your week and you wanna do multiple packages of tofu at the same time, clamps is the answer. Big fan of just taking two sheet pans, putting the tofu in between them, and then clamping them together. This was like three packages, so that's a lot easier than doing it one by one. Anyways, okay, I've got some oil in a hot pan over there. I need to get a little like hot plate, little stove top thing so I can just do it right here. But for now, sorry, I have to be over here. This is what the marinated tofu looks like. I'm just gonna pan fry them on both sides. All right, giving these a flip. I'm also gonna go ahead and throw the just egg on, just, you know, with the bacon. The timer just went off for the potatoes. I honestly think they could cook for a little bit more, so I'm just gonna leave them in a couple minutes. This is what the potatoes are looking like. I'm gonna set those there to cool and hopefully crisp up a little, cause they are a little, not sure how that'll work, it's a sandwich. And he didn't do this, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of avocado on it, cause I have it, why not? All right, and these look about done. That is what we're working with. Okay, these are not as like crispy and like sandwichable as I thought they'd be. Might have to eat this with a fork, but wow, that looks incredible. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on. I'm just using Miyoko's pepper jack. All right, and then next, honestly, can I unfold? Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm unfolding the just egg fold. <laughs> wow, look at that. Gonna add the rest of the cheese I have. All right, and now I'm gonna layer our little bacons on top. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of avocado. All right, here we go. Hold on, I need like a picture of this. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna cut it in half. Mm. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I need to sit down for this. Come on. Come on, stool. Mmm. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, this slaps. Wow, wow, wow. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Wow. I'm speechless. Alrighty, 10 out of 10. Definitely the best thing I've made from TikTok so far. Hot damn, that is good. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside just cause you know, I wanna make it last. You know, take a few more bites in like 10 minutes. But wow, that is delicious. Okay, this next TikTok, I'm so eager to try. You guys know I love crispy smashed potatoes. You know, take a little potato, give it a parboil, then smash it down. Add some oil, bake it in the oven until crispy, but it's still creamy on the inside. Mm. And one of you guys tagged me in a TikTok where they're essentially doing that, but with Brussels sprouts. What? Incredible. Sounds great. Maybe. I don't know. Haven't tried it yet. Okay. This is the best Brussels sprouts you'll ever have. They're smashed like potatoes and coated mm. with a garlic chili oil. Got your Brussels sprout. I'm gonna start by cutting out the stem and send them straight into some heavy salted water. Place them on the baking sheet. Bit of oil. And here comes the fun part. You get to smash them up. It's a good stress reliever. While these bake, I'm gonna make my garlic chili oil. Got your oil, bunch of garlic, and your chili mm. powder. Cook on low heat for a few minutes. Brussels sprouts, chili oil, sesame seeds, fresh parsley, flaky salt. Thing of beauty. Delicious. Looks great. Wow. 
you know, I gotta try that. Look at this, did some prepping. I got some Brussels sprouts washed, some garlic cloves. All right, pot of salted water. All right, gonna cut the ends off our Brussels sprouts while we wait for that to boil. All right, we got all of these chopped. Now I just gotta wait for that. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make the chili garlic oil just cause that'll get better as it sits. All right, got a bunch of garlic here, probably like 14 cloves. So this guy actually posted the full recipe on his website and I went ahead and looked. He calls for a fourth cup of oil, 12 garlic cloves, and then two tablespoons of the gochugaru, which are Korean chili flakes. Okay, I've got oil on this pan. I'm just gonna add the garlic. All right, two tablespoons of this. All right, now I'm just gonna cook that over medium low heat for like five minutes. And the water's boiling, so I'm gonna throw our Brussels in. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Mmm, need another bite. Okay, the chili garlic oil's been on for like six minutes. It's very fragrant, I think it's done. Gonna go ahead and put it in this bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Mmm, that is very good. All right, the sprouts have almost been in there for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 425. All right, the timer just went off. I'm gonna pull one out and test it just to make sure it's smashable. Perfect, awesome, okay. Also, I think instead of putting these on a baking sheet, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on my little air frying sheet. I'm gonna pat these dry with a towel. Okay, there's a lot of leaves that like fell off while they were cooking, and that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna eat them. Gotta get your veggies, kids. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on them. Get them nice and mixed up in there. All right, let's mash them. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh wow, I'm excited for this. I hope it works. I feel like it won't get as crispy as potatoes do when you do this, just cause there's so much more water in these. But you know, so far these smashes are looking promising. Alrighty, we have our smashed Brussels sprouts ready to go in. I think air frying them will help them get a lot crispier than they would be if they were on a pan. We'll see, but can't wait, have fun. All right, got the convection fan on. All righty, those are in the oven. I'm gonna check back in in like 15, 20 minutes. These that didn't fit, I'm just gonna eat. Delicious. <laughs> I'll turn the camera off. Okay, I think they're done. It's been like 18-ish minutes. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Ooh, bitch. Okay, let's put these on a plate. Wow, okay, these definitely got crispier than I thought they would. I'm impressed. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right, and then some of the garlic chili oil. Ooh, this looks so good. Then a little bit of sesame seeds and a little bit of fresh parsley. Alrighty, guys, there we have it. Mmm, this looks and smells so good. All right, crispy smashed Brussels sprouts. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that... That is really good. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, oh my god. Wow, these are way better than I thought they would be, okay. And the chili garlic oil, delicious. Dare I say, another 10 out of 10. This slaps. Damn, okay, definitely gonna be making these again. Alrighty guys, and now lastly, I'm a little late to this party, but I am going to try the tortilla hack thing. If you haven't seen it, here's a random one I found. You know, you cut the tortilla, you put the meat on it, you put the little chip thing, you put the lettuce, pico, fold it up. Fold it up, baby. It's like a crunch wrap. Give it a pan fry, hell yeah. Mmm, delicious. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, I'm definitely late to this party. I feel like pretty much everyone has tried this already. Truly any sandwich you could possibly make, I'm sure someone's done that with this little tortilla hat. But today, I'm gonna try it like the original, like the little, like a little crunch wrap. All right, I got tortillas, lettuce, tomato. I've also got this chorizo seitan, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it cooking on a pan. I've never had this exact chorizo before. It was just on sale and that's why I got it. All right, I've got this lettuce washed here. Just gonna chop it up. So another TikTok that said, if you put this in water, it grows back. So fuck it, I'm gonna go do that. We'll see if it works. All right, you got some chopped tomato there. All right, I've got some chips here, and then I also have some leftover refried beans. All right, you guys, the chorizo is pretty much done. All right, it's time to do it. Okay, so I just make one cut halfway through down the middle. Okay, so I'm, I'm out of cheese. I used the rest of my meal because Pepper Jack when I made the sandwich, but I do have this piece of <laughs> uh, Follow Your Heart's Marks Gouda. I don't know where the rest of it is, but I feel fine. <laughs> yeah, let's just not think that hard about that. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna put some of this on top. Very good, very nice. All right, and then I'll put some refried beans over here. All right, and I have some plant-based sour cream. I'll put like that much. And then the chips. 
perfect. Okay, and then over here, I'll do some lettuce and tomato. Delightful. Wow, I can't wait for this. Okay, I might have put way too many toppings on. Let's see if we can fold this. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. Alrighty guys, there we have it. Not perfect, but it, I feel fine. Move, 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 move. All right, I'm heating the pan back up. All right, I'm gonna put some pan. All right, I'm gonna try giving this a flip. Looking good, looking good. All right, I'd say that is done. This is what it's looking like. Mmm, oof, delicious. All right, let's cut it in half. Ooh, bitch. That's what it's looking like, looking pretty good. All right, let's try it. Mmm. I mean, incredible, delightful. How fun, hell yeah. It's a crown trap supreme. What a fun time. I'll give it like a seven out of 10. You know, we've had it before. It's, you know, you know these flavors. But what a fun journey that was to get there. Alrighty guys, those are all of the TikTok trends that I will be trying today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe, sure. If you see some food out there on the internet that you want me to try, send it to me. Tap me in it. I'll try it. Thanks again, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring. And also thank you to all of the original creators of these TikToks. And I'll see you guys next week. All right. Hope you had fun. Goodbye. I'm going to go eat this now.